Hey everyone, today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to customize the smart map on your Roomba S series vacuums. We have the Roomba S9 Plus right here. If you're interested in this product or you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in the video description. So first things first, within your iRobot app, you wanna enter into your Roomba S9 settings. You'll see a screen very similar to this. Don't worry about it freaking out. That's because we have the vacuum propped up right here. We're gonna be spending all of our time looking at the map settings here. All of this information will be populated for you after you do your initial mapping run when you first set your vacuum up. If you're wondering too, this does support multiple maps. So you can go ahead, you can set it in new space without the charging station and it will map the new area for you. So maybe you have a couple floors of your house, things like that. You'll be able to move this around and just pick and choose the map as you see fit. So we're gonna look at our main floor map right here. Those three dots give us the option to delete it, conduct a mapping run or cancel and go back. We're gonna select into the map. Your map will look different depending on your home and environment, but you'll see ours right here how it has everything all laid out for us. We have tons of customization options. So first three dots in the top right hand corner, you'll see delete map again. We can rename the map, we can save map orientation or cancel. Next we have our plus and minus buttons to zoom in or out on our map. We can also rotate it right there. And then you'll see we'll go in to basically our centered look. You'll notice on our map where our home base is, it will label that for you. And then you have the option to label and identify all your rooms and adjust the labels and room dividers. So we'll look at that down at the bottom. You'll see our three different settings. First up, room dividers right there. This is where you can select add a divider, right? And move it around, rotate it as you see fit to add any divider that you want and then hit save. We're gonna cancel that out because we're happy with all the dividers that we have. Say we want to edit one of these though, we can just select it, rotate it or delete it right there at the bottom. So you can really build out this map. So we just checked off room dividers. Next, let's go to room labels. Say we want to change a room label right here. We can do that. And then we have the option to customize it however we want. So there you go, pick and choose from all of those rooms. Very simple, they have suggestions for you, right? So we could call it guest bedroom instead. You get the idea. Everything's grayed out, that's already been taken. But a lot of options for you to customize as you see fit. So we could just pick and choose a label and edit it accordingly. We don't want to change or save anything that we just tweaked there. And now let's go over to zones. So this is cool, we can set keep out zones. So if there's any particular areas you want it to avoid or any particular areas you want it to clean, we can do that right here within the map. So now at the bottom, we have our keep out zones in red. This is great if you have an area with a lot of cord, shoes, tangles, things like that. Maybe like your cat's litter box, things along those lines. Just drag and drop and readjust as needed. You can resize this too. And you can add multiple zones either way. And then here's our clean zones in blue. So say this is a heavily trafficked area by the front door, we wanna go ahead and really make sure we can clean that, we can name it. So let's just do, we're just gonna pick this first one, I, I don't know, whatever, it doesn't matter. So let's just pretend, what's cool, I mean, we got lots of items and things to have. We'll just put holiday tree, I don't know. But you get the idea, so then we can have it go clean that particular zone or avoid that particular zone. So it'll save it on the map for you. And there we go. We now have our clean zone right there. You could also delete them very easily as well. Just select it, hit the trash can icon, and you're good to go. So here is that, and now it's deleted. So hope that helps you understand how you can set up these zones, whether to clean or not to clean, and then adjust the label as needed. So both of that, all done right there from the map. You also see too, you may notice in that blue with the front door area, that is going to be one of our clean zones. And then that's already been added. So again, we could drag, drop, readjust as needed, but 
you're wondering why that's blue, it's because we already set up a zone right there. Now we can go back and you'll see this last option there. We basically have our map legend and it is smart enough to detect where there's carpet, right? So it can show you the carpet on the map too. So you get the different floor types all built in to the map with your S9 Plus. And lastly, this is related to the maps because you'll set it up within the map settings like we just discussed with the different zones or rooms. We can choose to clean by a particular zone or room as well. So once it's set up in the map, you got your little favorite section right here. So you can choose where you want it to clean. We can add a favorite and then you'll see it'll populate our different rooms and different zones. So you can choose to clean by those right there once you have your map set up and easily find them right within the app.